Hello there, fellow adventurers. This is Sorbastian coming to you from Riders of Icarus with another taming guide. All right, the guy we're going after is called a Grumpy Gross, and he's in the Silver Lake Lake. And he is going to be really important because when you seal him up, he's got some really nice stats for tanks, especially. I'm talking health and constitution. So he's kind of like the next Cold Tusk. And in fact, uh, we're going to need some Cold Tusks just to get him. So we're going to need a mark, as always. <laughs> so let's see what kind of mark we need. I recommend a seal stone to weaken it before attempt taming the power of coal tusk and snow cap boars ought to make you less threatening all right because I guess he exhibits massive bursts of power to defend himself Wow all right so that's the kind of mark we need and obviously we're gonna need a recipe in order to get that mark now I already have the recipe here in my inventory the gross mark recipe now Getting this thing is fairly straightforward, but not that simple, because uh, there's a lot of competition for it right now. So you can find the mob that drops that right here. You see where the, the tip of my mouse is on my map? Yeah, right at the end of this kind of ravine, there's a, a boss Rabini. Now, that guy is called King Franco Rabini. And he's the one that drops the mark. And he respawns about every 40 seconds. Now, as long as there's not people there camping him, you should be fine. He's fairly easy to kill, and he respawns fairly quickly. However, the mark is v very uncommon. And so you might have to farm him quite a bit in order to get it to drop, like maybe in excess of 30 kills. Because, I don't know why, but the drop rate for the recipe is fairly low. And instead, you might get a qu quite a bit of armor instead. Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've learned that recipe. And it looks like we're going to need some white cat boars, some cold tusks, and some familiar orbs. Now, keep in mind that these are all sealed familiars. So, for the white cat boars... They shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's see here. Where are the white cap boars? Here they are. So they're just a normal uh, familiar. So we're not going to need anything special. Just some level 10 uh, seal stones should be fine. However, for white tusk, because white tusk is an elite, we're going to need two elite sealing stones uh, in order to craft this mark. Uh, because we need to seal two cold tusks. Okay, so first up on our shopping list are white cap boars. Now, you can find them just north of Silverlight Lake uh, in the Swarma Plain, so right here on the map. And you can see where I am. There's Silverlight Lake just south of me, and I'm on this kind of little hill. And there's a whole bunch of white cat boars around me, and this is where you find them. All right, so let's go up and let's just tame one. Now, these guys are pretty simple. I don't even think you need to beat them down. But then again, I mean, I am level 35, and these things are... Well... Level 28, so... You know, there's a big level difference between us. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. So they're fairly easy. And I'm just going to go tame another one. Uh, for you, if you're lower level, then you might need to just beat it down a little bit to increase your success attempt, your, your chances of success. But other than that, you know, it's very straightforward and very easy. Excellent. So now that we have two of those, let's go grab two cold tusks. All right, to get cold tusk, you're going to have to come back to the Brogan War Camp in the Brakar Forest, up to the very top of the Brogan War Camp where the Brogan Chief is. And the Brogan Chief is the one riding cold tusk. Now, I never made a video about getting cold tusk because it is just super simple and super straightforward. All you have to do is kill the Brogan war chief that's riding him and then Bra uh, cold tusk becomes tameable and it's just super easy. Now I'm 
I'm level 35 in full frost commander gear. So be careful that you don't use any AoE skills because anything you use on the Brog and Chief will likely just kill Cold Tusk. So you need to use something that's just a single target skill. Like, uh... This. See? <laughs> so simple. Or so easy. I just go into taming mode, and Cold Tusk is so nice, he just stands right there, doesn't do anything, just lets you jump on him. Just super easy. That's why I never made a video about it, because it's so easy to tame Cold Tusk. And very likely, most people did. See, full green bar, no problem at all. Just gonna jump off of him. Get my little <laughs> my little bit of loot. And now that I've got Cold Tusk, I'm just going to use an elite seal stone. And I'm just gonna seal him up. Perfect. And now I've got uh, the two sealed white cap boars, and I've got the two sealed cold tusks. Alright, now that we've got all the materials, it's time to go and craft ourselves a gross mark. So yeah, I've got the two white cap boar, I got the two cold tusks, and I've got the familiar orbs. And so let's just go ahead and craft that. And uh, hopefully I'll get more than one, because that would be very useful. Ooh, triumphantly crafted. And how many did I get? <laughs> wow, I got three of them. Nice. That is very nice. All right, time to go out and get Grumpy Gross. So you'll be able to find a Grumpy Gross here in this area. And this area is located just beside the Lake of Life, uh, where these rock cliffs are on the map. You can see where my orange arrow is, not too far from where King Franco Rabini is. And he spawns right here, right where I'm standing right now. He spawns here consistently every single time. He doesn't move too far away from this spawn location, but his spawn timer is relatively long at around 20 to 30 minutes is what I found. And note, killing the white cap boars doesn't make any difference at all. It's just a fixed respawn time. Now, because he is, well, he seems to be relatively popular. So you might have a hard time finding him if you don't, if you didn't know exactly where to look because he won't be up. I mean, almost as soon as this guy pops up, he, someone comes and tames him and then he's gone for another 20, 30 minutes. Especially if you are playing in prime time, then yeah, this guy, it will be down almost all the time. Just because, you know, he has such a, well, not a long, but he has, it's not short. His respawn timer is, you know, considerably long for an elite anyways. So anyways, this is where you can find him. My advice is basically stand here and be in a taming pose. And that is probably your best chance at getting onto him considering, you know, all the competition and other people that are looking for him. Alright, so there he is, Mr. Grumpy Gross. I'm not even going to try and beat him down, I'm just going to jump on him. And that's because of the competition. I mean, the competition for this guy is just absolutely fierce. So if you don't jump on him right away, someone else will come along and they will take him from you. And the taming seems to be going fairly well. I'm not using a taming potion or anything. Perfect! Mr. Grumpy Gross has been tamed. So I have taken the liberty of getting a Grumpy Gross all the way up to 35 and I just wanted to show you what the stats are if you try and seal one of these. So I have an elite seal stone here and I'm just gonna click this and I hover over. I'm not actually gonna seal them. You can see the effect of the seal stone would be between 200 to 213 to 253 health and between 4 to 5 constitution. So that is better than what you would get from a cold tusk, but considering how much more difficult it is to get, um, this is definitely going to be for those people or for those tanks that are like truly want to max out their gear. I have a feeling that, you know, sealed grumpy grosses are going to be very expensive. 
And the stats for a level 35 Grumpy Gross are, as you can see, uh, not too bad. Lots of physical defense. It's really not too fast either. He does get the Bitter Cold Resistance passive, which is good, you know, for being in Parnas Coast. And he also gets Stalwart Will, and the maximum level is 7, and at level 7, this passive gives 23% extra physical defense, which would be very good for a tank um, as a pet. And that is how you tame a Grumpy Gross in Parna's Coast. This has been Sorvistion. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel for more taming guides for Riders of Icarus. Until next time, adventurers, take care and have fun.